Hey guys, Ariel here, back with Thimbleweed Park. It has been a while. Um, whoops, gotta remember how to do things. I think we had gotten the ThimbleCon tickets and given everybody one was the last thing we did. So, we're gonna go into ThimbleCon as Reyes. None shall pass without showing me their ticket first. Oh, and welcome to ThimbleCon, of course. Okay, here's my ticket. Here's my ticket. Thank you. I'll take the tickets for your friends while you're here. Saves time so you can live long and proper. Yeah, prosper. Okay, Ken. Hi. Fine. Anything I can interest you in? Yes. I'm selling comics, D and D manuals, and original Star Trek spec scripts. I don't remember. I don't know what D and D is. Okay. Okay. Goodbye. I think possibly that Reyes or Ray is the wrong one to have in here. Let's switch to him. Although sh Dolores is a bigger nerd. But but let's it's been so long since I played this, honestly. I'm not sure. Do you sure need some cosplay advice? Yes, I do. I'm not cosplaying. Whatever you say. See you later. Starships in bottles. Handmade. Okay. How much do your starships cost? More than someone in your pay bracket can afford. But today, we're doing a special deal. If you can answer me this one question, you will get a free starship in a bottle. Okay. All right. What is the question I need to if answer I mess up to get with a him, free starship? I could probably do it with somebody Warning. else. You only have one chance to get this right. Which is the best science fiction show ever made? <laughs> Let's put Battlestar Galactica. Just, uh, uh, no. Okay. Star Trek. Congratulations! <laughs> You've won a replica of the Starship Isabella. I thought I was gonna get tested on some hard and heavy Star Trek trivia, and I would have owned it. I would have owned it, man. But, but, whatever. We'll Why? just. You will not find better starships in a bottle uh, than these. Wait, I meant. Starships! To click on how do you make bottles, it so small? Handmade! Yes, yeah, shut up. Because I have to, I have to make the see if you can fix so the pocket small. watch. I use the same tools as jewelry and watch repairers do. They allow me to carefully place each photon torpedo. Can I borrow your jewelry tools? Despite not having the requisite plus five dexterity to wield them, I might loan you the tools if you can get me some dinner. Dinner. Dinner, okay. What do you want in exchange for your tools? Well, I'm really craving a hamburger. How about a hot dog? No, definitely not. A hamburger is what I need. Get me a hamburger and I'll see hamburger. what I can do for you. Get me a hamburger and I'll Bye. see what I can do for you. You will not you. find better starships okay. in a box. Okay, yep, than keep these. talking, buddy. Okay, um, vending machine? Can I. A new Coke vending machine. Coke. Pew, okay. pew, pew! <laughs> okay, I think. I th hello. Let's go down. I think we need to go to the diner. Shut up in there. Everyone knows it's proven beyond all possible doubt that there are nine planets in the solar system. <laughs> yeah, leave Pluto alone. I am looking for the diner. Um, if nothing else happens, I'll see you at the diner. How? Ha hello. Hello. It's out of order. But how is it ringing? Yeah, it's ringing. Ah. Uh, close, get, talk to phone. The call, I can't pull that. Okay, now we're... If any of you are younger than a certain age, you don't know what that noise is. That is a dial-up modem dialing 56K connection. Very sexy. But we don't know what's happening there, so we're going to continue to look for... Is that the diner? Guys, I was right by the diner the whole time. Oh, what was that? Who was that? What are we doing? Pizza coupons! Okay. Free pizza coupons! What a free pizza coupon! Of course wait, I wait. do! Um, is a pizza free or is a coupon free? Um... Is the pizza free or the coupon free? Ah... Mmm... I don't think I understand. <laughs> okay, he Enough does not want time. got to run. The pizza. So 
Somebody else probably wants the pizza. Um, those hot dogs are gross. Can I order a burger? What can I do for you, honey? I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything is on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a hamburger. Sorry, honey. Those hot dogs are about to go bad. And I can't open a new package of hamburgers until they are all gone. Oh, okay. I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything is on the menu board. What yeah. do you want? I guess I'll have a hot dog. I'll have a hot dog. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move them out. Yeah, I know. Okay. Eat up, hon, while it's still hot. Okay, there's... Yeah. Oh. There's three more oh. hot dogs in there. Okay. That is the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. I, um, gotta go. Oh. Oh, gross. Okay. Why doesn't he just favor the hot dogs and throw <sighs> them away? I feel better now. <laughs> Are we gonna... Are we gonna eat them all and throw up every time? Or, I don't know, I might have to bring somebody else over here to eat a hot dog, but let's see. What can I do for you, honey? I mean, if he's gonna throw I'd up like every time. Food. Sure, everything is on the menu board. But then uh, other than needing to brush his teeth. Ah, oh, okay. I guess I'm not hungry. All right, she magically knows what to do. What can I do for you, honey? I'd like to order I'd some I'd like food. to order some food. Sure. Everything is on the menu board. What do you want? I'll hot have dog. a hot dog. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move him out. Eat up, hon, while it's still hot. <laughs> or throw it away. Just, mm. just throw mm. it away. Um. Oh. Goo. <laughs> Goo. Goo. Oh, my. That is the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. I, uh, <laughs> gotta go. <laughs> Gross! <laughs> Digital bar, man! No, thank you. Okay. I feel better now. <laughs> All right. Ransom deserves a hot dog. He does. If anybody deserves a hot dog, it is Ransom. I can order food. Okay, give me a greasy crap burger with the extra heart attack. <laughs> I'll take some rabbit food salad. I'll have the thimbleberry pie. I'm gonna get one of, those, one disgusting of those disgusting hot, hot dogs. dogs. Knock yourself out with those hot dogs. We're trying to move them before. Well. Yeah, never mind. Just eat the hot dog, Ransom. I hope you choke on it. Nom, nom, nom. Nom, nom, nom. This tastes like crap. And I ought to know. I, uh, gotta go. <laughs> yeah, gross. <sighs> I feel better now. Good. I'm glad you feel better now, Ransom. Okay, who else? The ghost can't eat a hot dog, so it's just Dolores. Uh. Yeah, I hear you, buddy. Somebody will probably talk to you in a minute. Let's do the hot dogs Welcome first. Welcome back, Dolores. How's life being an important game developer? <laughs> um... I'm having an amazing time. It's good to have you back. I just uh, wanted to say, I know your Uncle Chuck was kind of a dick. You're talking about me? Shut up, Dave! Look, writing you out of the will was a dick move, but I'm sure he was still proud. I'd like to think so. He just wasn't himself those last few years. His obsession with restarting the pillow factory, long hours in his workshop, and vanishing for days. Anyway. I guess that was important. I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu This board. is probably the way the game got me to make everybody talk to everybody. I'll have the cherry Oops, pie. I didn't mean to click Sorry. that. Some tall guy just ate the last slice with a cup of joe. Oh, hey, the hot, are the hot dogs gone? I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? Uh, I'll have a hot dog. Oh, Good no, choice, there's honey. One hot We're dog trying to move him out. Okay. Eat up, hon, while it's still hot. <coughs> this hot dog is even worse than the food in the mucus phlegm lunchroom. 
I, uh, gotta go. One more oh. digital barf. Okay, notice I don't look, because even digitally, it's gross. Okay. Oh. <sighs> I feel better now. Okay. All right, the pizza boy. Secret pizza meeting. Wh who will talk to the pizza boy? Secret pizza meeting. You want a free pizza coupon? Wink, wink. Wink, wink. What's the deal with the pizza coupon? You want a free pizza coupon? Wink, wink. Okay, but what do I get with it? <laughs> um, a coupon? <sighs> Um... Nice costume. Thanks. It protects me from the signals. Do we know each other? Wait a second. You look familiar. <laughs> Weren't we in freshman chem class together? What's your name? <laughs> I'll tell him Dolores. I know who you are. You're Dolores Edmund. You and your Uncle Chuck we're working on mind control, Ray, to remove our free will before he died. Yes. Yikes! D don't play dumb with me. I know you put bugs in our pillows. You'll never take me alive! Ah! Okay, well, <laughs> I guess... I guess nobody else is talking to him. Let's switch to... Mm, Switch to Reyes. Array, Reyes. I don't remember who. It doesn't matter. Switch to Mulder and go order. Uh, I'm ready for that hamburger. All right, honey. Now that you helped us move those hot dogs, you can have a hamburger. Dave, burn one, take it through the garden, and pin a rose on it. Ready. Been saving one here in the grill pocket just in case. Here you go, hon. Okay. Okay, go. Hamburger to sexy Riker. Thanks. That's exactly what I wanted. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Mm. I. Uh, uh, <laughs> I have to go to my room. Okay. Well, I'm taking your tools. Thank you. Use this with this. Uh, I can't fix the watch myself. I need a professional. A professional, okay. So I think right now the number one goal is to fix the watch. So I'm going to go different places downtown and see if I find somebody. I'm innocent. If you didn't do it, a jury will find you not guilty. I heard you used to have a watch repair shop. Oh! Can you fix this watch? Why should I? Considering I'm only locked up because of you. Okay, so I've been running around for a while. I'm gonna restart my timer here because I stop it when I'm stuck and running around. Um, so I talk to everybody and look at Willie, the Willie and the you watch, man. The watch, I promise I'll prove your innocence. Well, let me see it. Well, that's a strange looking watch. What's I'm inside? sure I can fix it. But do you think I can fix it with my teeth? Come back when you have some proper tools. Okay, but I do. And I think the factory key is in the watch. That's what I think. That's what it sounded like. I'm in. Kiss Willie, my butt. here are the tools you wanted. Oh, thanks. Nice tools. I'm innocent. Can you fix this watch? If you fix the watch, I promise I'll prove your innocence. Here's my watch for you to fix. Okay, hand it over. Okay. Oh, he just had that monocle like in his pocket after he got arrested. Okay, your watch is fixed. Here you go. All right. It's my father's old pocket watch. Good as new. Okay, so I, I fixed the watch. I don't know. That's all I remember that I needed to do was, was fix the watch, and I don't even remember why I needed to fix the watch. So there is probably going to be a lot of running around right now. Hello, everyone. I can't believe I finally made it to the penthouse. <laughs> Who's that now? What are you doing here? Um, you know, just looking about. 
I suppose I'll allow that as long as you don't annoy me. Okay, we're just looking about. It's a secret entrance. What's going on? Those runes are doing something to me. Ooh. I can't, you know, float through the door. All right, so he's got a mystery to solve. What else is going on in here? Uh. Stay away from my crystal. Hey, new ghost, I told you not to bug me. Is there any way I can speak to my daughter again? Not a chance, new ghost. Only the crystal behind me will grant you the ability, oh. and you'll never get it. Okay. Hypothetically, if I was to get the crystal, how would I use it? Well, you're not going to get it. But hypothetically, okay. if you were to get it, and only hypothetically, because you will never get it. Yes, you know, only hypothetically. Because okay. I will never get it. Hypothetically, you would just take it into my <laughs> secret room, and you'd be able to talk with the living. That's it. Okay, that was all lovely information, but I don't... I don't know what to do with it. Okay, so everybody's to-do list has their own special thing. And then they all say to get the key to the factory gate and get into the pillow factory. So it doesn't actually tell me who does what. Do you need some cosplay advice? Oh, is that... That's the lawyer, right? I'm cosplaying an FBI agent investigating the paranormal. Th that was the Whatever clown's, you say. The See clown's you lawyer. Hello? Do you need some cosplay advice? Oh, hi, Dolores. Yeah, hi. What brings you back to Thimbleweed Park? Uh, you, you dummy. I need you to read Uncle Chuck's will. Chuck never paid me to read his will. My fee was $15,000, and I didn't see a cent of that money. Oh. I'm sure he must have paid you. It's not like Uncle Chuck to forget something like that. My apologies. I'll go to the Mansion Mansion right away. Okay. So we need to go to the Mansion Mansion now, I think. Alright, yeah, that's you. Where do we go for the will reading? I don't remember where that room was. Oh, it's there! It doesn't look like a room. Okay. I see we are all here now. Excellent. Before we can proceed with the reading of the will, Chuck Edmund has three stipulations. One, Thimbleberry Pie must be served to all present. <laughs> Two, the reading of the will must take place in Chuck's opulent tomb. Three, crack the encryption on this will. Let me see that. Oh, it's all ones and zeros. Dolores, you figure it out. It is all ones and zeros. Clearly, it's in binary. Uncle Chuck was being clever. Maybe too clever. Okay. So, where's the will? We, we kept the will, right? Okay, so use the decoder on the I will. I don't want to do that. It would make it look red. Well, yeah, you're supposed to decode the will. I mean, yeah, okay, it's in binary. I'm not, I hated that class in college. This is I'm all not in binary. It. Should be easy to write a program to convert it to ASCII so I can read the will. Write a program. All right, back to Dolores' room. She said she could write a program. So, let's do that, okay. Uh, we're using it. Um, there we go. This isn't working. I'm going to need a pretty powerful programming language to decrypt this will. Uh-oh. What else do you need? Dangerous device? The main AI agrees with my plan to pin the fire on Mr. Reyes. I never did read this. Goodness. I think maybe, maybe possibly, when I'm done with this computer programming stuff, she should give that to... Reyes, because that's the proof. Hey, there's more to this room. Big prizes, ransom jerk alike contest. Nothing's happening until they get enough contestants for the ransom look alike contest. Oh, I love carrying stuff. Okay, all right, gave that to him. Now let's let him read this whole thing. He's a speed reader. Look at him go. He is a speed reader. Okay. Did that 
fascinating. Yeah, did that do anything? Did that teach you anything? So back to your room, Dolores. Let's spastically click on everything. Oh. Oh, right there, right there, right there. It's Graphics Basic, the powerful programming language from Hessware to supercharge my Commodore 64. Okay. Let's supercharge My it. Commodore 64 is now supercharged with Graphics Basic. Okay. Type, Dolores, type. It's working. Whoever created Graphics Basic has a brilliant career ahead of them. A short 15 minutes of coding and decoding later. Just 15 minutes, huh? Just so you guys know, I did read that whole thing I out loud. It. And it was it's cut off. It's totally decoded now. It, it I'll give it back important. to Mr. Balowick. So we're going to go give this back to Mr. Lawyer Pants. Oh, is it the end of a chapter? Oh, uh, you, are you taking a nap? Are you taking a nap, Agent Ray? What's happening? What's going on? That was interesting. Very interesting. Okay, but that is going to be the end of a chapter there. My name's Ariel. This is Thimbleweed Park, an 80s-based computer game that is full of cliché. I will have another one of these up as soon as I can. I will see you when I see you. Bye-bye.